Hello, my beautiful Hair Lounge community. Welcome back to the Hair Lounge. Today we're talking all about this new Olaplex number no. zero. It just came out roughly about three weeks ago and I heard it's awesome. So we're gonna go on the journey together and use it today. Stay tuned and we'll get right into the video. Let's talk about the new Olaplex number no. zero. This treatment is the perfect treatment when you cannot get into your stylist to do those super conditioning hair masks. This is something that you get to do to your hair at home. So don't forget, it is a two part system. So this is the number one, and this is gonna go onto your hair when it is dry. Then we're gonna jump with number three, and you are putting that right over the top of your hair. You are gonna see the best results within at least 20 minutes. You can go longer. The longer you leave it on, the better the results. You should get, depending on your thickness and obviously how dry your hair is, you should get at least three to four treatments out of these bottles. So let's start the video and see if we can tame this dry, nasty hair. I will tell you this is great for all different hair types, but you will see the most if your hair is dry or damaged or bleach. So the more you use it, the better your results. You will put on these products and then after they're both on your hair, you're going to shampoo and condition. Wash, rinse, repeat for the best results. So before you begin, obviously my hair is dry. I'm gonna take my little cute pony out of my hair and you do wanna start with dry hair. There we go. And I would suggest, cause this um, number zero is very liquidy. So I would suggest using a cape or a towel to wrap around your neck. The easiest way to do this on yourself is if you section your hair. If you just try to spray it or drip it all over your hair in one big clump, you're going to miss spots and you want to make sure you're evenly saturating each hair strand. So I would suggest, doesn't have to be perfect, but breaking it up down the middle so that way you have two sides. And then I would even do three separate sections for each side. You don't have to be perfect with it, but you wanna make sure you're saturating everything. Okay, I'm gonna shake it up. It doesn't say you have to shake it up, but naturally I think if there's any ingredients in anything, you wanna make sure it's mixed really well. I've got a nice little screw cap on it. As you can see, it's already ready to begin. So we're gonna take that one front section and we're just gonna start to pour. Get those ends really good. Then we're gonna brush it through using our wet brush. So this is gonna ensure you are getting all of that liquid from root to ends. Surprisingly, it spreads pretty evenly. So you kind of think, ooh, that's not gonna be enough on there, but it distributes pretty good. I would, while I'm kind of running my hands through my hair, if you feel any dry spots, just reapply. Now let's move on to our next section. Now to the very back section. I will tell you this stuff does dry fairly quickly, but once it's on there, the number three that we're putting up over the top, that's what's going to make it damp. So don't worry if you go back to the section and it feels like it dried on there, it is still working. But surprisingly, as you can see, I brushed it. Look at how shiny it is compared to this really super dry stuff. Okay, and I do have one tiny section I still have left over in this back, so we're gonna go ahead and saturate that. Look at the difference of each side. Pretty crazy. Obviously it's wet, so it's not gonna look as fluffy or frizzy, but you can already see 
the shininess. Okay, now let's move on to our right side. Again, make sure you break those sections up so you do not get overwhelmed with all of your hair. All right, you guys, now that we have our number one applied, now you have to wait and let it sit on for 10 minutes. Just go finish, you know, cleaning the toilets or doing laundry and wait those 10 minutes. Then we'll come back and apply our number three. A few moments later. All right, you guys, it's been 10 minutes and now it is time for our number three. Think of this number three as your actual bonding treatment. The first step, which was our number zero, that's more of like the primer or the um, kind of preparation for the actual bonding treatment. So this is the actual conditioning part of this step. And it comes with a little seal, so make sure you take that seal all the way off. And we are just gonna smush this on in. And it says apply a generous amount so make sure you're not skimping on the actual product. And then I would also suggest to make sure that you are brushing this through as well. I will tell you that number zero, it didn't really have a scent to it, but this one does. It has a light floral scent, not super strong. Olaplex is normally pretty good about making sure that its products don't have a super strong smell for those ones that are, you know, a little more sensitive to smell, but it definitely has a light floral scent to it. Smells pretty good. We got that all the way through. Now we're gonna take our wet brush and just evenly distribute that through our ends. It feels pretty heavy, which is obviously why you are going to shampoo and condition after you let this sit on for 10 minutes. Again, this can sit on longer than 10 minutes, um, but it needs to, all the steps need to sit on at least a total of 20 minutes. So obviously the longer it sits on, the more conditioning you are going to feel. I would suggest to rinse your hands because your hands get a little sticky feeling. All right, you guys, 10 more minutes and I'll be back. We are back. We let that sit on the full 20 minutes. We have shampooed and conditioned our hair to rinse all of that bonding treatment out of our hair. And hey, if you have not hit that red subscribe button, now is the time while we're waiting while I dry my hair. Normally, I would put on a leave-in conditioner or something on my hair before I actually brush through it, but I wanna see what this Olaplex number zero is all about. So we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna brush our hair and dry. Okay, you guys, I just rough dried my hair as you saw, and look at all this shine. It is so incredibly shiny. You can tell the cuticles are a little bit more sealed. They're laying a little flatter. It's not as fuzzy looking on the ends, which is exactly what you want. I can tell I probably need more treatments, but like I said, this is something that you should be able to do to your hair once a week, maybe two times a week if your hair is super damaged. And you should get, as you can see with this bottle, it's about right there. So I hardly use any. So I should get at least four, maybe six treatments out of this one take home kit, which is awesome. Seems like you don't get very much in it, but a little goes a long ways as always with Olaplex. Here is my final finished look after using that Olaplex system. I did flat iron my hair after I dried it. That way you guys could see it when it's actually sleek and smooth. And as you can see, it has a lot of shine to it. So I hope you guys like this video and I hope that you can tell how awesome this system did for my hair and it'll do awesome for your hair at home too. Don't forget, please go ahead and give this video a like if you like what you saw today and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. Oh, and don't forget, if you like any of these products that I use today, I always leave everything down in the description box below. That way it's super easy for you to find. All right, guys, catch you next time. Bye-bye.